Amy, the ceremony has just wrapped up and now post members are inside enjoying some food and just being together. We actually heard a great speech from an auxiliary member. She wasn't even alive during the attacks and she's calling on younger generations of Americans to remember the attacks, especially those who gave their lives that day trying to save others. I'm actually joined tonight with Commander Kevin Delaney. So we saw people of all walks of life at this ceremony. Why is it so important for us to remember this event even 19 years later? Uh, first of all, to honor the person, the people who gave their lives as first responders in New York and in, and in Pennsylvania, and then for all the military who deployed overseas to Iraq and Afghanistan to make sure that their sacrifice away from their families is remembered. So we also retired some flags tonight. So talk to me about the significance of that and how it was done. So by the flag code, how we uh, retire flags is we burn them. Um, so we fold them into, uh, into tricorns like the old hats from the, uh, back in the days of the pirates. Um, and we put them into the fire and then we salute them to give them the final honors. That's great. Well, thank you so much. And like I said, the ceremony has been going on tonight. It's still going on inside and we'll hear more tonight from more veterans about why it's so important to remember the nearly 3000 lives lost, especially the service members in the line of duty that day. Reporting live in Panama City, Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong.